Hello everyone, welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Channel. Petting my two stroke mascot dog here, Stella, the wonder dog who seems to be doing a lot of sleeping these days. What's up with the sleeping? Tired all the time? I know I'm not wearing you out. I think you're getting a little older there, girl. You're gonna be seven here soon. That's midlife for a dog. What is that? Seven times seven is 49 years old. Gosh, you're getting up as almost as old as I am. That's seven seven years for every one human year, right? Seven dog years. Speaking of dog years, we are working on our 1970 Honda N600. You can see it shining here in the shop. It's reassembly day number two. So we've cleaned out the interior, vacuumed it out, uh, trimmed, uh, scraped the glass, got all the glass clean, got the rear windows in, got the this part right here painted, this part that's black, shiny black, that was bright yellow. I don't have the felts for this thing. I don't even know if they're made, but I couldn't stand looking at this bright yellow through the side of the car when the window's up. So it took a while to clean that, sand that, get that ready for paint, painted that uh, gloss black. That looks good. And then uh, remove the door handles, polish those all up, spent a couple hours getting those clean and polished. They look really good, reassembled, and they work. Door locks work. Next up is to get the door panels in, which are up here, get them cleaned up, and then the trim. There's a plastic trim piece that goes on this side, but not on the other side, um, and that's just decorative. So that's coming up. Uh, oh, painted in the wheel wells. So all the wheel wells are now black, not oversprayed. Detailed the muffler, the undercarriage, the shocks. Rear bumper's on. Now I realize how bad the chrome is on the rear bumper. This is a modified rear bumper. I've cut the brackets. Uh, normally there's a spare tire that goes in this area and the bumper sticks out with a filler panel about six or eight inches. I didn't like that look. I like it tight. Uh, so it's as tight as I could get it. I took four inches out of the bumper brackets to bring that bumper in. Um, so that's that. Same thing on this side. Got this trim piece it just blends in now you can't see the bright yellow on the top of the door there that looks really good and then what else do we do oh yeah we were busy painted the whole engine compartment no more yellow at all installed a new battery uh, got our fuel pump back in which is way down here got our regulator or i think it's called a regulator the three-phase thing that the generator goes into got our bumper back on new bumper bolts bumper chrome is just not good and i didn't realize how not good it was until the car now looks good. So new gel cell battery, got demasked off all our, our labels, our instructions, and I think we should start it up. Let's see if it even fires up. I put a new battery in there, I hope it does. See if the horn works. Oh, it does. That's pretty awesome. It's coming back to life. Okay, turn key. We got a charge light, heard the fuel pump click. That's good, let's try the choke right there and turn on. Oh yeah, that's my baby. She's running, yes. Now I just gonna get the lights on it. Probably need a new fuel filter. It's gonna die here. Oh died before I could get the throttle working. Brakes are up, tires are good, shocks are fine, just need some headlights, the grill, taillights, and turn signals. And I think we're gonna be good. Oh well. Right, we gotta do door panels. Ah, we gotta do a bunch of stuff. Carpet, interior. I've gotta paint now. I gotta get up in here and paint this yellow. I'm trying to eradicate all the yellow. So that's all gotta go. Maybe a new dash pad and this thing's gonna be a show car. It's looking really good. I'm really happy. Oh, and I gotta do something with the roof. I gotta paint the roof or strip the roof, something like that. But it's looking great. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.